hello collective welcome back to my platform thank you for watching as always please remember to like comment share subscribe to the channel to show support if you don't feel like doing any of those then just watch and we will be just a-okay i am sending you all lots of love joy peace and happiness many many blessings to you and your beautiful families i also Return to source, I return to sender, all negative energy and intent being sent to you and your families immediately and personally. All evil plans of your enemies are dismantled at this moment, Mote. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what in the name of source is going on. We have the seven of cups out here. Okay, so someone may be coming in to cause you some type of illusion, Emperor, I mean, Empress. Okay, so maybe it could be an emperor that's coming in to cause you some type of illusion. Lord have mercy. Emperors should know better than that. Why are these emperors in this day and age not aging the right way? It's like they're supposed to be like the leaders of the communities, but they are the ones like behind the scenes doing little boys things. So you could have some type of illusion that's being brought towards you right it's like someone wants you to feel like you are not abundant you don't have a prosperous future you are going to be living in poverty this is what someone wants for you someone wants you in this mindset of like stagnation being left out in the cold being rejected and things like that but this is your natural state of being is an empress right so someone wants to come in and cause you an illusion Someone may be, you know, advocating behind the scenes to have you maybe left out in the cold, whether it's to put you out of a home, let go, like have you let go at a job, just something like that, right? This is quite crazy, but someone is going to be disappointed because none of this is going to work. Excuse me why I readjust my cars. Again, I've been having this issue where I'm missing cars when I'm readjusting my cars after a read. But someone is going to be disappointed because this is not the most high plan for you. This will be another empress that is advocating for someone to, be, I'm telling you, for someone to be left out in the cold and they're going to receive bad news. It's not going to happen like they are intending. Someone does not want you to be seen in the light that is yours. You are someone who's a, 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 a star seed. You are abundant. You are nurturing. You are a blessing. But someone is painting you in this light. What someone also wants is for you to go from this to this. So they want you to fall from grace. They want you to live in life. They want you to lose everything. They want you to be rejected and things like that. So this person could be coming in. This is a narcissist. This person could be coming in to kind of give you some type of false offer. And if you accept this offer, this is exactly what's going to happen. You're going to lose your abundance. You're going to fall from grace, lose your connection to source. Um, be out here struggling all of the above. Someone in the background, this is what they are about to go through. I'm telling you, I am telling you, this is what they are about to go through. So this could be like a, a, a king of pentacles in the reverse that's coming towards you to cause you this illusion because this is someone that's financially focused and they see that you are abundant. They know that you are a true empress. And they are intimidated by this. It bothers them, right? Because they've been uh, able to take down other empresses in the past for greed, for money, for whatever selfishness. This is someone that's out of balance. Um, this is someone that knows that you and them will not be getting together. This is someone that fell from grace because of money. Someone did something for money. And what they were wanting to do for money when it comes to you did not go through. So someone is absolutely determined to come in and cause you an illusion. It's not going to go according to plan. I'm telling you, they're going to have to walk away. They're going to have to walk away because your ancestors don't have time for this game. Okay, all this... All this uh, uh, Nonsense about dark workers putting in all of this effort to destroy people that are in the upright. That time is coming to an end. Absolutely coming to an end. Nobody has time for this. Look, I'm a little bit hesitant to shuffle my deck because I just did my nails. So I don't want to mess it up. So it don't come for me. So I'm going to just be doing this. Let's see. Hey, best friend, pay attention. Stop acting out, okay? Anyway, so this, this King of Pentacles... Someone will not be recovering because of actions they took against you. This is someone that was supposed to partner up with some of you. 
help you out, advocate for you, maybe, or just stand beside you, something of that nature. But this person chose money. Someone partnered up with the wrong people, and now they're going through some type of ending. So this is not you going through the ending collective. This is something someone intended for you, but they are the ones going through this ending. And it's, the, it's only the right thing to happen. It's the right thing for the Most High to do. Give someone a taste of their own medicine. This is karma. Lord have mercy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. The universe. Look, 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 look. I told you the universe. The universe stepped in. Said, uh-uh, you got to go. Nobody has time for your nonsense. You got to go. You need to walk away. Leave my divine being alone. We don't have time for this. Yeah. Someone was absolutely expecting to triumph over you, but it's not looking like that. Someone is facing a lot of financial issues. Someone is walking around with a mask, but they are dying on the inside. They've lost all of their finances. They have to face their truth. That they effed up royally. Okay? What in the world? Yeah, someone cannot come towards you because they made the wrong decision. Lord Jesus, someone made the wrong decision for money. I'm telling you, this is someone greedy. They chose money over you. And now they don't know if they can come towards you to present some type of love opportunity to you or present some type of opportunity to you. Someone made the wrong decision in the past. Now they want to fix things, but it's too late. They know that you don't want anything to do with them because they betray you in a way that's unforgivable by standards of the universe. They have to go through their karma. It's not that you don't forgive this person. It's just that the universe is holding this person accountable for something that they did to you. Okay? So there possibly will be no relationship between you and this person. They may want to send you a message to bring something to your attention that has to do with finances, someone holding on to your resources, or them doing something to block your resources. Um, and they know when they bring this to your attention, it's going to lead to some type of conflict. Uh, maybe they, they know, they just know that you two are not moving forward. Okay. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ten of Swords fell out here. I'm telling you, there's no moving forward. Someone is trapped. Someone is trapped in their mind. Someone is trapped in some type of union with an institution and the institution may be leaving this person out in the cold as well there is something going on with a masculine energy who has fallen from grace and it's not beautiful someone may some of you some of this mask these masculines could be facing legal issues because of actions they took against you someone went all the way out they went all out on your behind like, I'm talking about character assassination, set up, signature fraud, all kinds of things. And they trapped themselves. They took all of this action. They caused all of these illusions about you only to trap themselves. Lord have mercy. And the whole time, the universe was watching them saying, mm, okay, let's see how this ends. Let's see how this goes. Let's see. Let's see who's the most clever of them all in the universe. Yeah, uh huh. Mm hmm. We got one for you. So they're trapped. And someone, even though they're going through all of this loss, they've lost finances, connections, friends, business opportunities, all of that. They are still planning to come towards you to steal your resources. Someone is still planning to steal from you to block your resource because they want it. Someone has lost a lot of money and they think by stealing from you, they can restore their finances and their way of living. Someone is accustomed to living some type of superficial lifestyle that they want to hold on to, but the universe is absolutely saying no. It is over. You have to learn a lesson. This is a lesson for this King of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that does not know how to think for themselves as as a uh, down to earth as the king of pentacles are, these are pe people that are giving and things like that. These are masculines that struggle with their mind, having a mind of their own. They're very easily led astray. And usually when you meet these types of masculine, you would think that they are assertive. They have everything together. They are always well put together, but their mind is shaky, shaky, right? 
they're not mentally stable a lot of the time. So it's easy to manipulate them. People can steal from them easily. But when they are in the reverse, it's absolutely a treacherous relationship with these people because they're the ones doing the stealing. They're the ones doing the, the betrayal. They're the ones being malicious. It is crazy. Okay? But this person is still planning to come towards you even though they're trapped in this whatever they got involved in with this institution this relationship whatever it is even though they're trapped there's no way out they're still planning to come towards you to cause you some type of illusion so they can steal your resources absolutely they are and your ancestors are like hey we told you to walk away get gone be gone right but this has to do with resources Someone may have left you an inheritance. I had a dream where someone was someone received like e either it was a like fourteen million or fourteen billion dollars, and Lord have mercy, this was like money you you didn't even know what to do with. Someone you are about to be so abundant you cannot even imagine. Someone is about to have like a ace of pentacles, like a a a, a like a a figure, ten figure, whatever. I think it's an eight figure you're about to receive, like in the millions. Your life is about to be changed in a way that you cannot even imagine, dear. Like all of your troubles are about to be gone. You're about to be having like businesses where you can thrive in peace because you know we're in an era that's coming to an end though where dark workers are putting in a lot of effort to block people that are in the upright from creating from thriving, living in peace, having joy, all of that. This is how this this, this staffing your energy by interfering with your creativity, interfering with your mind, and especially interfering with your heart space. That's how they staffing your energy. Okay, and these people are fighting amongst themselves. Excuse me. These people are fighting amongst themselves because there's something that they didn't want people knowing, but people know. They didn't want, yeah, they didn't want people knowing the truth. They could be hiding these resources. They could be, be not wanting you to have these resources. They are hiding it. A lot of people know it. So you are like abundant, but you're living in this state of being. You don't know that you are abundant, but it's going to be exposed to you. You're standing your ground. You're being defended. The Most High is defending you behind the scenes. They want to get you out of character. They want to lower your vibration so you can respond in some type of way that's going to lead to you losing your abundance, but there's literally nothing you can do that's going to make you lose this abundance, and there's nothing these people can do that's going to make you lose your abundance right? You're still going to be successful. You're still going to be innovative. Everything will happen in divine timing. Someone used to be successful and they went greedy. Absolutely greedy. Someone was not practical about how they approached a situation. Someone was very rash. They were shown some money, made some type of promise, and they immediately moved on impulse. And it came back to hunt them in the behind. Someone refused to be practical. It's a hey, like you you know this is not true. Why are you participating in this? You know this is a lie. You know this money don't belong to this person. Why are you helping them hide it or steal it? And this person, they was like, oh well, I'm getting a check for a million dollars to participate to hide it. So I'm gonna do it. So they did it. This person could be a gambler. This person could be poor with managing money. They refused to be practical. They didn't use their mind. More than likely, the money that were, that they received from this bribery is all gone. So, yeah. <laughs> Someone is in the reverse. Lord have mercy. We have the King of, Pen King of Cups in the reverse that will not be sealing the calmer waters. Yeah, it's absolutely consequences for these people. Someone fell from grace is how I'm seeing this. This used to be this King of Pentacles. This could have been like a divine counterpart for you, with you. You could have had some type of contract with this person and they're not anymore. Someone fell from grace because they betrayed you for money. They did something 
funny, funny for money. And now they cannot recover. They're not recovery, I'm telling you. They cannot recover. Someone may want to come to worship, but they cannot. Someone wants to take some type of action. Some type of action they want to take, but they cannot. Someone wanted to come in with his to cause you some type of illusion or saying that, oh, I've changed. I want to work things out. I'm so sorry for betraying you. I'm so sorry for how things went be, uh, in the past or what I did. And they cannot. Someone is being stopped. They're being blocked out of their energy. Someone is uh, 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 thinking things over at the moment. Because they don't know if you are going to forgive them. If you want to seal the karma waters with them. Okay? It's like someone is like... Someone feels empty without a feminine energy. Is what I'm getting. It's like they're realizing what you were to what it is now. It's like someone had a misconception about you. Someone was under some type of illusion about who you were. Right? They thought you were... I just heard loose. They thought you were loose, but you're not. They thought you were incompetent, but you're not. They thought you were incapable, but you're not. Someone had a misconception about you. And now they're having some type of rude awakening due to divine intervention by source. And this person has fell from grace. They were wanting to succeed in something. Someone has been really stern on trying to keep a lie going, but they cannot. This, they're exposed. Someone's dreams aspirations all of that is like just over and this these are all things they were trying to take from you but the source stepped in and said hey since you want to take all of that from that person that did nothing to you how about we just take everything from you right someone may be wanting to go on a run but they cannot they're stuck it's a whole lot going on this is karma and this is and it's not just this person that's going through this ending there are other people, people that are working with this masculine are going through endings as well. Like everything is on a hold for them. It's like, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We understand you want to go to Dubai, but there will be no Dubai today. That we need you to stay here until this investigation is over because you all have answers that we need. I'm telling you, look, do you see how this is coming out? Someone was forced to walk away. They thought they would come to you, but they cannot. Someone needs to heal, but they're refusing to heal. Someone fell from grace. Someone was not practical about a situation. Damn. Someone had a misconception about you, but this is who you are. You're someone solid, standing your ground. They thought you were in the reverse. You weren't a blessing. You weren't nurturing. None of that. You're just someone that stands your ground. You're a fighter. You're solid as a rock. It's like, dang. It's like the universe is just fixing, giving someone the answers. Like every lie they tell, the universe is fixing it. It's like they tell a lie that, uh-uh, this is what it is. And there could be people behind the scenes too that are doing this to this person. They're like, you're a freaking liar. You told us this person was this. They're not. You told us this person did this. They didn't. You told us this money belonged to you. It does not. You're trying to steal someone's inheritance. You've been trying to keep their inheritance from them. So the universe is stepping in and bringing balance into a situation in a way that this king of pentacles did not expect. For some of you, this is not someone you dated. This is someone that's up against you and feels entitled to what belongs to you. And you see here, someone is going through laws and it's not just emotional laws. This is a, a, a financial loss, identity, everything. This person's life is over. They are losing everything. Friends, families, connections, love, business. Someone is losing a lot. You see, they went from the Eight of Pentacles, I mean the Eight of Cups here, to the Five of Cups. Dang. And then they thought things was, things was going to go in their favor. Someone was hopeful that things was changing. It's like in a moment, they'll say, oh, ooh, 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 ooh. yeah, I defeated her. I defeated her. And when, 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 four pentacles. Now, people, someone has lost love. They have lost their hope. Someone has lost everything. 
And whoever this is, they are all out of whack. If you think they were crazy here, they are worst off here. This is someone with no type of moral character, moral standards, ethics, nothing. They're like, someone is just off the hinge. They're unhinged. They're off the track. Someone is out of control and it's not going to end pretty for them. Someone has a lot of problems coming in. Someone is mentally trapped. Someone may be having a hard time taking care of themselves, just even getting up to go through their nine to five, whatever it is, whether they own a business, someone can't even go, like they cannot get out of bed, out of their head. Someone has trapped themselves in a way that they did not expect. And this is what they were expecting for you. They were intending for you. They thought they had a whole plan. Someone thought they had a plan to come in and steal from you, but there was something they did not realize. They didn't expect someone to stand up for you. Someone they were working with, and there's a king of cups in here that's taking himself out of this situation. He said, I don't want to be part of this nonsense anymore. It's not going anywhere. You told us this was going to happen, but it's not happening. Someone is not, you're not going to defeat this person. Like, this is not your money. I don't even know why I partnered up with you and got involved in this nonsense. I don't want to be part of it anymore. Now this person wants to either come towards you to have a new beginning with you, but they cannot because you know the truth about what they did. They betrayed you. That's why there's a, a three of sources out here. Someone absolutely betrayed you. They betrayed a queen of cups. Lord have mercy. So you definitely had a soul contract with this person before. You had a soul contract with this person before. They have fallen from grace because they accepted some type of bribery to do you something, to break your heart, leave you out in the cold, and only for you, Queen of Cups, to be accelerating in life, prospering in life, taking off in life. These people didn't expect you to do this. They thought you were down and out. This is what happens when you don't focus on yourself you don't focus on your life. You put focus on other people. Like, she can't have that. She doesn't deserve it. He can't have that. He doesn't deserve it. Only for you to find out, you should have mind your damn mother effing business and left this Queen of Cups alone. Okay? Should have left them alone. Someone sees you in this energy so they don't expect you to know how to defend yourself how to speak up for yourself, what to do. You're showing up in the King of Swords energy, which absolutely means you know how to defend yourself and you are willing to defend yourself against anyone. Okay? There's a King of Swords that's going through some type of financial or marital shaky, shaky problems. He's trapped in some type of union. He wants out of this union. His partner may not want to let him go because she financially benefits from him. Something is going on with the King of uh, Swords. He may want to partner up with you, but he did something as well. It's like all these masculines. I don't know what it is with masculines in this age. Will do anything for money. Anything for money. Cardi B said they'll do anything for clout. And then I said the masculines will do anything for money. It's just not adding up. Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you, Queen of Cups. They want to communicate with you about a choice that was made in regards to you because you're the Queen of Pentacles. There's another Queen of Pentacles in here as well. Someone wants to bring something to your attention. They want to send you a message. They're not sure if you two are going to be able to sail the karma waters, but they want to. They're deciding, do I send this message? Do I not send this message? Do I send this message? Do I not send this message? Is, he going to, is she or he going to communicate with me? Are they going to listen to me? Are they going to cut me off? What do I do? But someone is trapped in some type of union, collaboration, institution, something, and they want out of it. Someone wants to bring uh, 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 um, justice in your life is what I'm hearing. Peace, balance, because they know what they did. And you're showing up here in the Queen of Pentacles energy as well. 
Someone wants to get away. He may be trying to get away from a queen of pentacles. That will be his wife that he's trying to get away from. Maybe it's not a happy home. The four of pentacles sometimes has to do has to do with being trapped in an unhappy union, relationship, collaboration, something of that nature. So this person is stuck in something he cannot get out of or doesn't feel like he can get out of. He's mentally trapped. It's like there could be a lot of finances attached and he does not want to let go or she doesn't want to let go because of the finances and he wants to have some type of genuine connection with you because he knows you are the truth. I'm telling you, they're going through endings. There's a queen of pentacles. This could be a wife. This could be a mother. Some type of prominent figure in his life. They are separating. This woman is being humbled. Someone wanted to bring you a tower and they're going through a tower. It's like she had a plan. She was planning to bring you this huge tower in your life. In a lot of different ways. Have you put out in the street? Have you fired from work? Maybe ran off the road? Investigated? Bringing problems to your house? Someone may have wanted to fight you. And she's going through an ending. She is going through an ending. There's some type of realization. People are realizing that people are causing a lot of illusions behind the scenes to steal some type of inheritance. It's being blocked. People are realizing the truth. Revelation. Okay? Someone wanted to bring like destruction to your life. They're like, why is she still happy? Why is he still happy? He does not have as much money as I do. Why is he still happy? Why is she happy? It's a you idiot. Life is not all about money. You need to go heal. Who told you life was about money? People like this that worship money, that's all they know. I'm telling you. Shit. <laughs> Mess. Mess. Empress, your wealth is being protected. You are being advised to keep your distance from these people. Source is like keeping them away from you. They're not allowed in your energy. Absolutely not. This woman who have wanted to come in to befriend you cannot be blocked out of your energy because she was working overtime to cause you an ending with another person or a group of people. She and this masculine could have been working together before. It could be that they're not even married, but they were just in collaboration to take you down, but they cannot, so they're being blocked out of your energy. While you've been living in poverty, working your nine to five, working it hard as heck to keep a roof over your head, you've been abundant the whole time. You've been wealthy the whole time. And these people have been working behind the scenes trying to steal this money, this inheritance, trying to keep it away from you. And you had no idea. And Sora stepped in and said, you know what? We are just about sick and tired of you little karmics. Sit down. Fall down. They fall down, but they won't get up. They cannot get up. Help. The Cormacs have fallen and they can't get up. There is no getting up. I'm telling you, you've been working. You've been focusing on work, committing yourself to your to whatever it is, whether you have a business, whether you have some type of a uh, platform you create content on, whether you work a nine to five, you have been working over time over time and these people have been working to block your work as well so even though some of them already stole from you or are trying to steal from you they are still putting in effort to block your work your nine to five your social media content your business trying to block wish fulfillment for you just busy doing too much too much too much and source is just over it it's just ridiculous 
is that someone is absolutely set on stealing a abundance from an empress. Just stern, like she cannot have this. I'm better equipped for this position. I'm better equipped for this abundance. I should have this. And now they're paying people behind the scenes. Like, hey, if you work with me, you can have this when I get the money. If you do this, you can have this position when I get the pos when I get the money. Oh, sure, says the King of Pentacles. I never liked her anyways. I don't care if she's an uh, earth angel. I'll take the money. And so I said, oh, really? Oh, okay. Ten of swords. It's like no matter what these people do, trying to block your work, bring a tower to you, you still have victory. You still have victory. And this King of Pentacles that was so set on betraying you, just money hungry, whatever it is, that refused to be practical about this situation. This person is, is using logic now. They said, oh, I, I think I'm on the wrong side. I'm so sorry for betraying you for money. Do you think we can work things out? Sir, my brother, sit down. You have karma to serve. We can talk after you serve karma. I had no idea. I thought, I thought they were telling the truth about you. I didn't know they were lying. I'm so sorry. I bullshit. I'm sorry I don't speak French very often, but sometimes you have to. To emphasize what it is you're saying. So people can get it. What a mess. And people didn't even realize what they stood to lose. It's like someone comes to you with a check for $40,000 to go do something that you know you shouldn't be doing. And you don't realize that that's going to cause you your peace and quiet, your peace and mind, peace of mind. Some people are facing legal issues now, life's falling apart, losing jobs, cars, relationships, friendships, just fighting amongst themselves, all of them, not just one person, because they accept their bribery behind the scenes to do something, or they decided to participate in something unholy because they either didn't like you for no reason, were intimidated by you, was were jealous of you, something. Something that's just a ridiculous reason. That is why these people participated in this foolery. And it has caused them a lot. They thought they were going to destroy you, but they ended up destroying themselves with every action they took against you. And they have the audacity to sit back and say, why didn't, why couldn't we destroy her? How come nothing we did worked? It was never meant to. You all lie. You lied on someone. You lied on someone. And source said, let me step in and remind these people who created everything. Who created them? Who created their star seed? Who is in charge? Who makes the rules? Who calls the moves? It's like source is like, ah, I'm gonna take a break today. And then you start see you close it. Source, they're coming for me again. And he said, Oh, I guess I'll rest another day. And he stepped in. So you Fall from grace. You don't you don't deserve this. You don't deserve to be with this person. You will not be connecting. Nope. Someone in here, someone and their mother are having some type of tumultuous relationship because the mother did something behind the scenes that she was not supposed to do. She was misleading this masculine. It's like this is someone that did not want their son to be with someone of your... I don't know how to put it. Someone of your background, let's put it that way. Either it's because you're spiritual, either because you are a person of color, either because you're someone who is just a little different, you know a little bit too much naturally, and this woman was intimidated by you. So she and her son are going through some type of tumultuous 
period, in their relationship. He may not want to talk to her. He's keeping his distance from her because he knows what she did because something has been illuminated to him about her. And this is not something that could have been avoided. And I think she knew what she was doing the whole time. This is someone that's quite manipulative. She's been manipulating this masculine for many years. This is why we don't let our mothers get a little bit too involved in our decision-making processes. When we get to a certain age, you need to be a man and do what men do. Make your own decisions. It's, there's nothing wrong with asking your mother for advice, but... Your mother should not be making decisions in your life at a certain age. If you've moved out, you're living on your own, paying your own bills and things like that. Your mother should not be making any decisions in your life. You can ask her for advice, but that's about it. You listen to the advice she gives you. If it does not sit well with you, you don't need to tell her. I don't think you're right. You just listen when she's done talking. You thank her for her advice and you go on about your day and do what you think is best for you. If you make the right decision, great. If you make the wrong decision, then you have a lesson to learn. So the next time you will make that decision again. But some people, they are like one of those creatures in those animals in nature. They carry their babies in their mouth. They're still in their mother's mouth. Or like the, 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 the kangaroos that carry their babies in a pouch. Someone is still in their mother's pouch and she's hopping around, hopping around, hopping around. And this masculine don't understand a thing about life because his mother spoon feeds him, babies him in life, in everything. Don't date her. He doesn't date her. Don't go there. He doesn't go there. Don't trust that person. He doesn't trust that person. And he feels isolated in a lot of different ways, especially mentally. Because before he makes a decision in his life, he's wondering, what is mom going to think? Why are you worried about that at your age? The woman that's giving the advice doesn't even know what to do with her own life, to be honest with you. This could be a king of wands that's going through this. A uh, king of cups. Someone, someone is going through that with their mother in this scenario, this story. Someone needs their mother's permission and validation for everything that they do. And this is because this woman could have either been a single parent, had a lot going on, had to juggle a lot to make sure that this masculine was taken care of, and she somehow learned how to manipulate this masculine into doing everything she wants, so she knows how to manipulate him into pleasing her in life overall. Okay? It's not like a romantic, it's not a creepy romantic situation, but this woman has some type of odd obsession with controlling her son. She thinks that she's the mean woman in her son's life, and it should stay that way. That's not how it works. You give birth to your kids and they have to write when they are capable of doing that to move on with their lives, build a life of their own, yet still staying in connection with you. But the, their wife or the woman they are with is the main woman in their life. You're their mother. That would never change. You will always have a place in their heart and life. But don't take over your son's life because... You are single or you're unhappy. You didn't get to fulfill the things you wanted to do in life. So you're living vicariously through your son. All of that, do not do that. Your kid will one day figure out what you're doing and they will dislike you. Come on. My best friend is always acting up. It's like, come on, best friend. Let's get this together. There we go. Okay. This King of Wands is moving in, moving on with his life. Okay. This could be the person who is with this woman. Either this is his mother or his ex-wife, his wife, his whoever this is. But this masculine is moving on. He's wanting to bring balance into a situation. This could be him working with an institution, a company, something. But he's wanting to bring some type of balance into a situation. Something has been illuminated to him about this queen of pentacles or these people, whatever it is. Listen, honey. Yeah. 
yeah. About a oh, financial payout, resource, some type of plan. There's something that this masculine wants to communicate to you about, and it has to do with either your job, your finances. Someone went within and decided to do the truth and do the right thing, speak the truth, right? Be the guiding force in their own life. Someone may be watching you, keeping some type of track of you, and they know you are someone genuine, so they want to do the right thing. Someone may have went and sought advice from another person, and they told them what was really going on or how to handle this situation, okay? These cars are just dropping out, jumping out. And this person is going for it. They're going to do the right thing for this new beginning. They're going to bring to your awareness what type of foolery has been going on behind the scenes. This person played a role in it. So don't let them confuse you. Don't let them confuse you. This person played a role in what they were, what was going on behind the scenes. They may come in and play innocent like they don't know what was going on. They may not want you to see things for what it is. Okay, this person, this could be this king of pen, this king of wands that has this odd relationship with either his mother, ex-wife, ex-girlfriend, whoever, baby mama. This person has a hard time with their mental. They don't have a mind of their own. Someone has been groomed and programmed for a long time to do things to please other people, the feminine energies in his life. And then he took that to another level where he started pleasing other people in life. So he does not act out of his own interest. Someone is mentally controlled. He's stuck in his mind a lot because he's worried about doing things that don't please other people, especially if he's been around you for like years. He has some type of loyalty to people that they don't have for him and he doesn't realize that. He does not realize that. It's like I see someone surrounded by a whole group of people, friends and family, and none of them has his, has his best interest at heart. They, they all have ulterior motives for him. And this could be like his first time in life choosing to do the right thing to distance himself from these people push forward and things like that to have a new beginning. But this person, their mind needs a lot of healing. A whole lot of healing. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Someone knows you're telling the truth. Someone knows the truth about a queen of wands that was doing a lot of mental conflicts in the background. This masculine did not know this woman was doing something behind the scenes to cause a lot of confusion, playing people like puppets, right? She told people you were not genuine. She told people you were not sincere, you were manipulative, all kinds of stuff. Only for people to find out that you are actually sincere, you're genuine absolutely genuine this woman could have been jealous of you whatever it was it's all being exposed absolutely being exposed so this masculine may want to come back into your life hoping that things can go back to where they used to be things never happen the same twice maybe some of you will be willing to have a relationship with this masculine but i doubt it's going to be something of this caliber again where it has like that innocence to it because you'll always be wondering if this person is betraying you behind the scenes if they have ulterior motives okay wow yeah let's do our angel number hmm Let's do our angel number. I was supposed to stay up and do homework, but I decided to do a read because 
Like, who doesn't want to? Like, this is this is so much fun. I enjoy doing these reads. I feel fulfilled doing them. Hopefully, they help people on the platform, people that watch. But I absolutely enjoy doing these. Now, the reads are a little bit draining. Not even a little. They are really draining. Sometimes when I'm done doing a read, it's like, oh, Lord. Like, what in the world do I do now? Like, I just feel tired and exhausted. And I have to go eat, drink, lay down a little bit. There we go. But Chinley is extremely draining. So we have 30 or three. You are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effect on others. I am imaginative. 14 or five, you are open-minded and always up to try something new, yet you are wise enough to stop and think before you jump into things. This pragmatic approach helps ensure your time, attention, and efforts are meaningful. I am practical. I will see you all in my next read. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.